Hello, this is Liji again with the NetBack product management team. So let's take a look at the restore options and check out instant access. So here we have a Microsoft SQL Server under workloads and beta SQL02 is our SQL Server we are playing with. Go under databases and grab our database, then go under recovery points and there's some recovery points that are available. So let's take a look at some full and incremental. Let's grab the incremental. You can perform a complete database recovery, a single recover to a single point in time, or use instant access. You're familiar with these two. Let's go take a look at instant access. So I am able to send this back to any particular database instance I have credential within. I'm going to send it back to the original one here and just rename it. Provide credentials. And grab the password real quick and populate that. You can do some uh, provide some options. Okay, recover the database or just restore it or make it a standby read-only mode. Then here, up here top, it kind of shows you how many backup images are going to be utilized to perform this recovery. So that's more a visual representation for you. You can start the recovery and Give it a few seconds. Okay, so the mount aspect is done. So now the next is the attach. So let me go ahead and switch to SQL and you should see that database coming in here. So there's our SQL. Management Studio. And there is our test one restore database being provisioned off our backend storage and being registered. Coming back into SQL Management Studio, you can go ahead and browse this database and take a look at data just like it's any other database that you had but the difference is it's running off our backend storage. That wraps up this instant access restore. Do check out some of the other videos in our Vbytes video series.